Tor and VPN have unique ways to ensure user privacy on the internet. They're fundamentally very different, yet have many similar aims. Due to the overlapping features, you might be weighing the pros and cons of using one over the other, or maybe they can be treated equally, but with separate purposes. In this video, we dig into everything you need to know about which software should be used for more internet anonymity. Tor versus VPN, examining the differences. You could be confused by the terms Tor, VPN and proxies, as all of them have a common purpose in protecting user privacy online. To know which is better, you have to look at their advantages and disadvantages. Considering the different end use objectives, it's not going to be an apples to apples comparison. Therefore, to answer the question about which is better, we have to address the following common concerns regarding Tor and VPN. Tor versus VPN, which is safer? Tor versus VPN, which is faster? Should Tor and VPN be used together or separately? What are Tor and VPN? To know the key differences between Tor Onion and VPN, it is important to gain an understanding of their definitions. Tor is a short form of the Onion Router, which is a free multi-layer network spread across thousands of relays worldwide, managed by volunteers. Instead of accessing web traffic directly through your client device from a web server, you'll find it channeled through various anonymous relay nodes on the Tor browser. VPN, or Virtual Private Network, however, was initially designed as an encrypted network to help companies connect to their remote office locations. Today, its definition has changed. VPN is now a privacy tool that has the following core aims. Masking your original IP address. Changing your internet location. Helping you access geo-restricted content. Some websites and apps may restrict access to a particular country or location. A VPN helps you circumvent such bans. Another important difference is there is essentially only one Tor browser, even though it may be available in the form of Tor Browser Android or Tor Browser iOS. On the other hand, there are thousands of VPN services you can find all over the web and app and play stores. While using the Tor browser is always free, commercial VPNs that are reliable and safe to use require you to pay up front. Tor versus VPN, which is safer? To remain incognito online, you can use both Tor and VPN. To determine which is the safest, we need to know what each brings to the table in terms of security. There is a common misunderstanding that using a VPN can potentially put you at risk of exposing your IP address. That is certainly true for a plethora of poor quality free VPNs found on the Google Play Store. Use them at your own risk as they are private in name only. A good commercial VPN, on the other hand, NordVPN in this example, uses a kill switch that uses a system-wide network lock to prevent accidental IP address leakage. Also, before purchasing a VPN solution, you should always perform a free DNS leak test. Link in the description. Many VPNs also use features like Secure Download, which is helpful in keeping the end device protected from malware. A good VPN scans for all incoming files and keeps your device free from malware on the server end. However, there is one reason Tor has an edge over VPN and it's in its insistence on using .onion links. The Tor browser has a superb built-in feature that allows it only to prioritize and open a website's .onion link when it's available. Every time you visit a website with an onion available, you can gain access to a more private and secure version of the website via onion services. This way, even if the website has been banned in your home country, you can bypass the censorship restrictions using the onions. Clearly, a Tor browser with onion links is one of the best ways to defeat censorship and government surveillance. Make no mistake, VPNs still offer a great deal of privacy for everyday internet surfing, but the sheer ingeniousness of using onion links makes Tor slightly safer for absolute last-minute data transfer. Tor versus VPN, which is faster? There's no contest when comparing VPN speeds with Tor because the latter routes the network through various relays. It makes the overall speed much slower than what you're used to. While you can still watch a YouTube video on the Tor browser and download the contents, it's not a recommended option for bandwidth heavy files and videos. VPNs, on the other hand, can nearly always recreate the speed of your ISP. Many commercial VPNs also support a dedicated IP option, which is a static IP unique to your device. This is quite helpful in those scenarios in which a website or app blocks service access to you because the same IP address may be used many times by others. The problem is all too common with this Tor browser and some websites frequently block the Tor network from connecting in the first place. In summary, if you want always on connectivity with reliable speeds and no sudden bandwidth slowdown, a good VPN is a better choice. 
should Tor and VPN be used separately or together? The first question that really needs answering here is, can they be? Most definitely yes. You can use Tor both over VPN and VPN over Tor in a dual configuration by setting each one separately. From a privacy standpoint, it's also a more secure arrangement for end users. If you route your internet traffic through a VPN before starting the Tor browser, even with malicious exit nodes, your end traffic is protected from surveillance or malware. Likewise, if you download a VPN software over the Tor network, it prevents your ISP from keeping tabs on your VPN surfing habits. Practically speaking, using Tor and VPN together can greatly cripple internet speeds. The Tor network isn't really the fastest when it's come to downloads, so throwing another set of network connections is only going to slow speeds further. However, there are workarounds to the problem. There is a new concept called decentralized VPN or DVPN that tends to use the best of what onion routing and VPN have to offer. Instead of a central VPN provider, you have peer-to-peer -peer nodes which provide the same access but with greater anonymity, just like Tor. Which is better? There is no clear winner here. Both Tor and VPN have their own major uses. If you want a good deal of network privacy without sacrificing data speeds or suffering network dropouts, then VPN is the more preferred solution. However, if you care more about avoiding censorship and surveillance and require activities involving access to dark web pages, then Tor is the better option. Seeing that nowadays some VPN providers are having onion routing capabilities, if you had to pick just one solution, going with a commercial VPN provider, having onion services is the way to go. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. I will see you next time.